Holy, that's a beautiful looking stag out there. About 300 yards out, and I think we're going to take the shot. Let's get on him. I thought today we head back to Quattro Colinas and take down as many Basidi Ibex and Iberia Mufon as we possibly can with the 6.5 and the M1. So basically what we have going on here is we have kind of a trifecta of tents around these three lakes here. We have one on the north end, one on the west end over here, and one on the east end over here. And what I want to do is kind of bounce from lake to lake to lake and just try and take down as many Mufon as we can until hopefully we get a giant. It's actually a little bit foggy over here and it's going to be kind of difficult to see the mouflon, but we have a stag out there at about 250. I think we might start off by taking him down and see if we can't find some mouflon along the way. That's going to be a tough shot. Got another one out there at about 300 yards and he actually did not even spoof from that shot. I kind of want to try and hold high. That should take him down as well. Man, it is so foggy here right now. Okay, so I found the zone here and apparently there was eight Mouflon right here that we could not see. The Red Deer was standing right here. It looks like we didn't make a very good shot, but uh, it wasn't that big anyway, so I'm not really that concerned. I just want to kind of check the tracks. That's a decent ram. That's a decent ram there. and. That's probably going to be a feat. No, that's actually another ram. So there was technically three rams in this herd over here, and we never saw one of them. Nothing too heavy, though. If we had a max weight track, we'd probably track it down. But in this case here, I think we're going to hold off and try and go to the next spot. We'll swing by here, pick up our red deer stag, and then head to the next spot. This shot was apparently a little better because here he lays right here. Let's pick him up. Ended up getting a right lung vertebrae shot at 300 yards and a 172 red deer stag. Now I kind of want to head over to the north end over here and actually work our way around the back side of this lake right here. This here is where we saw that giant dime potential mouflon. We took a shot at about 12 yards away with the recurve and that sucker ended up ducking our arrow and we hit it in the intestine. But I'm hoping eventually we get lucky and he comes back. Boy, if we were red deer hunting, we'd be setting pretty good right now because we were finding a bunch of stags. We got a small level six there and another decent level six right back there. I think we'll take the shot because we got to go over there anyways at about 280. And wait till he picks up his head. Right on the money. Perfect heart shot. Let's go get him. Uh, we should probably take down this small red deer as well because he's kind of along the way here. <laughs> um, forget about the first shot. I actually pulled a little bit too far forward. And we missed the heart, but the second shot, I think we actually hit it in the neck. And he didn't go anywhere. That's a diamond touch or road ear. I believe like 80 and up is diamond. And that's a max weight road ear right there. I don't know if it would make diamond or not because I've never gotten a diamond road ear, but it's definitely a diamond touch or road ear. And we got some more road ear back there as well. Um, I think we're probably going to take down this stag here, work our way around that point and maybe take down that row with a bow that was kind of funny it rhymed but uh anyways let's take down this red deer about 316 out and i want to just hold a little bit high i want to practice zero in for 160 and just holding a little bit high instead of just always going for 300 because it's kind of cool to uh be a little bit more realistic you know but here's this one ended up no, that first shot actually was a good shot. Um, and the second shot was another really good shot. I thought we actually hit the shoulder blade first and next second, but we quattro lunged that thing. <laughs> a quadruple lung on that red deer stag at 150 yards out, 160. Another road deer buck. And there's our stag piled up right there. And another stag just took off over there, but that doesn't look very impressive to me. Probably a level four or level five. But I tell you what, there's our giant roadier right there, and I don't think he's going to stick around very long. So let's see if we can't take him down. At about 120. It looked like a pretty good hit. The roadier taking off. Okay, let's grab the stag and then go track down that huge roadier buck that we just took. At about 100 yards out. Nice double lung shot at 316. Okay. So we're zeroed in for 160. And I'm holding for kind of the spine with 160. And I'm trying to compensate for that drop. That's not bad. I'm a little bit high. Maybe next time I should hold for kind of the middle of the spine. 
Last time I held for the top of the spine for 300, but now I kind of know where to hold. Well, there he is piled up right there. Let's go take a look and see how big he's going to be. I think we might have only gotten a single lung or potentially a liver shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I guess if you wanted an ear piercing, that'd be kind of a perfect shot, but uh, we weren't exactly trying to do that. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't take a shot past like 50 yards with the bow. But I had like a 90% feeling that he wasn't going to make diamond. He's actually not even close. He's a good six points off from being diamond. Um, but either way, it's still kind of cool. Took him down at 122 yards. And now, hopefully we'll get a bigger one to come back. Holy, that's a beautiful looking stag out there. About 300 yards out. And I think we're going to take the shot. Let's get on him. Oh, I think we made an awesome shot. I was a little bit high, but he is definitely going down. We got a bunch of MUFON out here. Again, no level fours. All threes, twos, twos. Another three there. I did not want to do that. <laughs> now we got another road deer zone, uh, which I really don't care about that much, but let's try and take down this one and maybe that one. All right, so 270. I think the one in the back is probably the biggest one. I think we might have hit it, but I really don't. Yeah, we did. We got him right over the top of that female and we smoked that nice level three. I think we might have found him. I turned around as we're heading over to the other side here and take a look what we have. That is a giant. It's actually not the one that I was looking for. That's not a max weight. It's almost a max weight, but just one size bigger would be a max weight. So we still got to look for what potentially could be an even bigger one on this opposite shore over here. Where are they going to? Oh, what was that? What was that? That is our max weight ram. He's actually not as big as this one. But there could be even more. But either way, this is kind of the only one that we can see right now as far as the biggest one. So I think we're gonna take down that one right there at about 280 on the opposite shore. And that's gonna be a spine shot if I've ever seen one. Hopefully it didn't hit spine. I really don't know. It's hard to tell. I was holding a little bit high, but it all depends. There they go. There they go. So here's our two rams that we got from before. Both level threes. They weren't very big, but double lung liver and a 113. That's actually a very, very small ram. And this one, he was basically fleeing as we took the shot and we still smoked him the left lung at 277, a 139 ram. He was higher up and he was actually standing right here. That is the exact spot that we took the shot on this giant stag. Now we saw him run through here. Let's see if we can't track him a little ways actually. We got some uh, petted grass there. I don't see any more blood at this point, but he's actually a massive looking stag. And I'm pretty curious where we did hit him. Let's take a look. I ended up pulling off a 352 yard liver shot. 208 gold. That is a giant stag right there. And we actually hit, was he like that? Okay, so he was further than what I thought. I thought he was like 315, 320. And remember, we're using 160. We're zeroed for 160 and I'm holding for like right here, trying to compensate for that drop. Basically right there, we had about a 12, 13 inch drop with the M1. Had we been a little bit higher, I honestly think we probably would have caught the back of the lung and the liver, but either way, we did catch the liver at 352 yards, and that is a beautiful stag. So here's our big ram here, piled up right here, and that's going to be our first gold of 146. We double lunged him at 284 yards. Holy, we just jumped up an absolute giant Basidi Ibex right in front of us here. There he goes right there. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you coming back up the hill? He might be coming back up the hill. But that'll take him down and let's get on him. Well, 
It didn't exactly work. Because they could care less that we took a shot. I want to try one more thing. That worked. That worked really good. And I think we got a good hit into him. I held high for the shoulder, but that should have been... Is that even the right one? I think we got the right one. Whoa. What was he doing? Yeah, he's definitely hit. Okay, we didn't hit him very good. We need to follow up really, really bad. Really, really bad. I don't know if we're going to get one. Well, no follow-up needed for that one. <laughs> he's down. Um, Not a perfect shot, but uh, he is down. Well, at least we got this one down. Let's pick him up. And that's going to be a 151. A perfect hard shot at 179 on him. Oh, that is not a very pretty shot. Ended up taking a 297 yard. Looks like we hit him right in the front leg. I thought he was about 150. And apparently he was closer to 300. Got a little bit of a drop. Looks like about an eight inch drop there. But luckily it did take him down at a 144.5 ram. Couple more coming in the back here. Hold up, hold up. Look at them all coming in. Level three, level... Ooh. That one right there I think might be bigger. 139. Yeah, that one's going to be a little bit bigger for sure. Look at the curl on him. That one there is definitely the one that we want. That might break like 150, 155. And do not stop right behind that. Oh, man. Well, unfortunately, he stopped behind the brush. So I think what we're going to do is take down this one here at about 150. And see if this one runs out. There he goes right there. I really don't want to take a bad shot on him, but if he slows down like a little bit, or is that him? Oh, I think we made a good hit. Hope we got the right one though. Yes, we, wait. Oh, he almost piled up, but then got back up and started running. Oh, it's not really a good sign. But he's down. Must not have been that bad of a shot. He is down. Got a red deer stag trying out there as well. I saw that guy there and I think we definitely want to get him. That should be level four. Same with that one. That should have been a good shot. And that, sh yeah, that was a really, really good shot actually. Um, I think that said, I don't want to take any more down. Yeah, we already took two down, okay. Well, let's go get him. The first shot, I think we might have only got a single lung, but he did run probably like a hundred yards. I don't know where else we would have hit him though. I thought we were a little bit low, and if we were low, then it would have been a flesh hit. It takes quite a while for them to go down with a flesh hit. It does take them down, but like I said, they they run for at least like two, three hundred yards with a flesh hit. All right, this one definitely didn't go anywhere. He's piled up right here. That's going to be a solid 146 gold. Double lunged him at 161. And the second one was running like, I don't know, like right about here, I think. Yes! And there was a non-vital hit. Okay, well, at least we understand why it went down so quick. And that's going to be a 155. Okay, so that was actually the big one that we were trying to get in the beginning. It's a really, really nice one, but ended up getting an intestine hit at 200 yards on the run. Didn't quite lead him enough, but either way, we still did take him down. Now, that's a pretty good one. That's a huge southeastern Spanish Ibex out there at about 300 yards out. But there was also another herd of mouflon right out there. I didn't see anything big, but I really can't see the entire herd from here. So anyways, I definitely want to take down this big level four at about 300 yards out, and I think we'll go prone. And I want to hold it right on the spine. RIP! <laughs> we hit the ground. Oh man. That is so unfortunate. I think it would have been a pretty awesome shot too. I really do. Well, they might come back eventually. Okay, guys, I think we're going to get a second chance at this one now. The only thing is he's actually in the brush here. He's right behind that tree. He's still roughly 280 out, but can we even see? No. 
It's not a shot. Unfortunately, that is not a shot. Not one I'm comfortable with taking at least. We got kind of a huge Mouflon out there. It's actually level four, but he might be down potential. He's about 250 yards out. And I think we could probably take that shot right there. Uh, actually. That will definitely take him down. And here he is right here. Let's pick him up and see just how big he's going to be. Wow. A 162.9 with a 6.5. Whew. That was right on the money. And a beautiful ram. Wow. Well, now. Wasn't exactly looking for a Basidi Ibex, but uh, that's pretty sweet. That's a diamond touch of Basidi Ibex out there. And let's try and take him. About 300 yards out. All right, that did not work out very good. Um, but that did. <laughs> oh man, we almost just messed up that diamond. If it was a diamond, I don't know, but it was big. All I know is it was definitely big. Well, here he is. And he definitely looks pretty impressive to me. Let's take a really cool picture of him. And let's pick him up. Got another one coming through right there. He's a diamond! A 200 right on the dot. Man, I thought we'd have a little bit more raise than that. I was holding for about 250, but wow, that was an embarrassing shot. But the second shot, we ended up catching liver and right lung at 323 yards, quartering away, and got ourselves a huge diamond, but see the Ibex. Looks like we're going to be finishing off with a huge southeastern Spanish Ibex out here. That guy right there is a giant level four. And he has a minimum estimate of 80 to 91. He's about 240 yards right there. It's not a very good angle, so I'm trying to square up on him a little bit more. But he's got some massive horns on him. Why did we get stuck on that tree? And he just turned around for some reason. I don't know if he's kind of spooked or what, but watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Well, we did drop him, but I don't know if that was a good thing or not. I was holding for the spine and he was probably like 250. So I think we might've got spinal cord and lung. I don't know. We're gonna have to go over and go check. Let's see, he was walking right through here and there he is piled up right there. Let's take a look. That is actually a vital hit. That is a vital hit. I cannot believe we pulled off that shot. He was about to be gone. Anyways, we'll take a cool picture of him and let's pick him up. That is an 84.7 scoring Southeastern Spanish Ibex and we made an incredible double lung shot at 255 yards out. Wow. I was hoping we didn't hit the spine and I was right. We did not hit the spine. Just underneath it at 255 yards and 84.7 is actually not too far off from a diamond. And uh, he's definitely going to the trophy lodge. But anyways, with that, I think that's going to wrap up this hunt. Had a lot of fun and I can't wait to get back out there and try and get some more giant mouflon down. So hopefully that diamond comes back. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Hello! And hello and goodbye! Alright, this was a decent level 3. Uh, level 2. Heart shot, actually. Quartering away heart shot right there.